Hey guys, how are you? All right, so this is gonna be a new video, maybe a series if you all wanna see more of it, you'll have to let me know. Um, junk in art. Lots of us in the mixed media community are used to saving weird, strange, and unusual things for using in art. Um, I thought I'd just show a few things other than junk mail. Um, I save, as do many of you, I'm sure, everything from bottle caps and fortunes out of fortune cookies to these little things. These are from car air fresheners. And glued to a card, a tag, or a paper clip, it would make a good shaker window. I save all kinds of stuff like that. So I have this idea for using some junk and art prompted by a post I saw to one of my Facebook art groups by someone in the group. The post wasn't from her, it was from someone else, but it was very inspiring. And um, I was so inspired by it. To I'm gonna put the picture here and you'll see exactly why I was inspired. So I thought we'd do something um, similarly inspired. So I have this little junk journal here. I don't remember who made it. I do try to generally, when someone sends me a little junk journal, I try to put a note in, they usually send a note with it and I try to tuck the note in the journal so I can remember who sent it. I didn't evidently do that with this one. So if you're watching and you're the one who made this, let me know. <laughs> um, it has just a few pages, which is great. Um, and so we are going to work on adding artwork to this journal and making it our own. I printed out 25, I don't know if that's enough for the journal or too many or not, I don't know. I just picked a random number, 25 random words from a random word app. Um, it is a random word out app intended for using with Pictionary, the game Pictionary. Um, I will include a link for it in the description below in case you wanna create your own random word list. I will also include a copy of this list. Let's take a picture right now, shall we? With my phone. There we go. I'll include a copy of this list, um, <clears throat> a link to it where you guys can download it in the description. When I do little sketchbooks, little art books with prompted words, I like to put the list of words in the cover. Even if I don't use all the words, I still like to put the words in the cover. So we're gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna just use good old Elmer's glue. And we need a rag. Now, for the paper that we're going to use to create our artwork, which we're gonna glue onto these pages, we're gonna use receipt paper. Now, receipt paper isn't the most archival of things on the planet. Um, the ink tends to fade over time. It's not the best paper, but we're just making junk in art. We're having some fun. I don't expect this to last for 50 years. Uh, if it does, great. If it doesn't, okay. Um, so I've got a bunch of random receipt papers here. I also have these like subscription cards out of magazines. I've got some grocery lists. I have a variety of black pens, a water brush, because this one is water soluble. I've got some highlighter markers. These, which are my favorite thing. These are my favorite set of highlighter markers. I have a couple sets. I also have some acrylic paints that way right off camera on a cart. Um, so we are going to fast forward through this. I am going to pick a few words at random. I'm gonna make the little drawings and then I'm gonna paste them in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the receipt. I'm gonna tear the edges, top and bottom edges, so that it fits like that. And then whatever is left is what I'm gonna do the artwork on. I'm gonna fast forward through the process. I'm gonna turn my um, radio on and I will be right back.
Okay, I'm not sure I caught all of that on camera. Hopefully I caught enough for you guys to get the idea. So I did find as I was going along that there were some repeat words. You're gonna get a copy of the image just like that with my handwriting on it and words written in. And so I took, I think the only word I didn't draw was robot. Oh, robot and kite and tail, so three words. So there's only 22 pages in this book, but there's 25 words on here for you all to do something. So these are the little drawings I did. I ended up just using my ballpoint bit crystal pen, a Sharpie, and the highlighter markers. Some um, mostly simple drawings. The only one I had to look up a reference photo for the shape for sure was the airplane. I've done a lot of these daily drawings now, so for most of them I didn't have to, I keep, and keeping it simple helps, but for most of them I didn't have to look up any reference photos. So this is cute. I can see doing more of this on just, again, it's just receipt paper, it's junk. It's stuff you would normally throw away. So I want you to think about what you have around your house, your art room, um, in your life that you're normally gonna throw away. What can, can you use it to make art? Now, that being said, I have a bin system, so I have certain bins for, for objects, and when that bin is full, I can't save any more. Whether it's receipts or bottle caps or um, vintage papers, scrapbooking paper, it doesn't matter. Everything's on a bin system. So when the bin is full, I have to use it up, throw it out before I can get more, right? So make sure you do this with caution. Um, don't fill your whole house with trash. That's not the point. Right? So this is really cute. I'm really happy with this. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Again, I am going to um, leave the word list and uh, a link to it in the description. Uh, you've already seen the original post that inspired this. If they have a website, I will include that. I don't know at the time of filming this. And um, Check out the video description for any relevant links, ways to support the free content here on Facebook and over in the Facebook art groups. There's lots of different ways to do that. Shopping in my Etsy store, PayPal tip jar, Amazon affiliate link, whatever it is. There's a bunch of stuff, so check it out. And um, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. That's it for today. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.